Hello everybody and welcome back to Persona 5 part 106. We are currently in Shibuya. We are outside the airsoft, airsoft or airlock. Hmm, I never remember. Let's double check that to get that right. Oh, if we went to the right place, I might airsoft shop. There we go. We're outside the airsoft shop. And this is going to be a special episode of Persona 5. So basically what I have done is I have gone and I have made every single Persona for her little quests up there. So that little Caroline can be happy. And I can finish her entire quest line in one go. This took about roughly five to six hours of continuous loading and making different personas and costing me roughly six hundred thousand yen. So yes, that was uh, it was a long process, guys. But I did it for you so that you do not have to struggle. What I'm going to do is, unfortunately, as you can see, if we got our compound level over here, I have asked, I said in a previous episode, I accidentally got it to episode level two. Um, so she is level 2, so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to show the first levels, which were a um, Shisha, and I honestly could not remember the first one. It is on camera the first one though, but unfortunately the Shisha with Muffry is not on, and I do apologize about that. I accidentally did it off camera quite a while ago, um, and there's not really much I can do to go back in time to change that. Anyway, so what we're going to do is head inside, and we're going to... Um, we're going to tackle and finish the entire strength confidant from level 3 all the way to level 10. So I've already seen all of this of course, so it's not going to be like a surprise for me. I already know what's coming, I already know everything is. Because I did it, loaded, did it, loaded, did it, loaded until I had all of them. And then loaded so that I could show you guys all of it on screen. I don't want to do it on camera as like I said it took 6 to 7 hours and I think that would be very very boring to watch. So let's get into it, let's see every single person. I'm going to explain a quick uh, detail on how I made it and my process at least. Uh, which I find the easiest to do. Some of these obviously are not optimal. I do advise if you do want to know how to do it, look at a guide online. There should be many. I try to stay as away from guides as much as possible when I first play through. So far, I have done pretty well. I've not used once a guide for the whole of Persona 5, except for when I got an accidental girlfriend in Anne and I wanted to check up what happens if I romance Anne. Would it still have been possible to romance Kakami? I found out that it is, but there is negative effects, so I decided not to romance Anne and we loaded that up. And that has been the only use of a guide so far. So I'm very happy that I made it all the way to. Seth without him to like look but I'm pretty sure there's way better ways and probably cheaper ways for you all out there to get it so I do advise looking for those look for the pros that know more about it but if you want a quick and you want an easy way maybe with a little bit of talk over so you can physically see it happen before your eyes here you go this is the video for you so I'm gonna quickly do let's see what Caroline has to say hey oh. so you brought us another persona we asked for Indeed. this is Matador with the skill Magau I have verified it that completes your current assignment so basically we had to make a matador with the Magari skill that is the level 2 wind skill um, that hits everybody. So the way I did it is I used a regent which is the rare gem, the first one you find in the whole game which has the level 2 AOE abilities of everything that is Magaru, Zoi, uh, what? Mazio, uh, Maagi, uh, Mabufu, Makoha, Mea. Maham, I don't think it has the Mahamas, but it might have the Mahamas, but anyway, so basically it has the level 2 of every single element So what I did is I took one of those and then I took the McCoy um, Persona, McCoy Persona is a little uh, voodoo doll looking guy and then you fuse them together in a simple normal fusion And you will get Matador and then you of course just select Magaru. So that's the way I did that. Anyway, let's see what our reward is. You're better than I thought, eh, mate I was thinking you'd just give up straight away. Yes. It is to be expected of the human our master saw potential in you're dedicated, I'll give you that. Just give it up, alright? I understand. That is a fine attitude to have. Talk's cheap though, you're gonna have to put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> I've gotta say, Justine, it's an accomplishment that he hasn't thrown in the towel yet. How so? That task list you wrote, it's not only keeping him on his toes, but helping him improve too. Um. Hmm? I'm not the one who wrote it. I had always assumed it was you. Excuse what? Me? I don't know anything about that thing. I suppose now that I consider it, that list is far too precise for you to have written it. Hmm. Quiet! You didn't need to say that! But wait, who wrote it then? Was it, it wasn't our master, was it? No, I have not heard him mention anything of the sort. How long have we had this list? Uh, hey, where's my reward? Shut up! Shut up! Don't read too far into this. Just keep quiet and focus on finishing your task, inmate! Caroline, should we consult with our master about this? Mm. All our master told us to do is oversee the rehabilitation, and it's our duty to follow orders. We shouldn't waste his time on something this pointless. 
Indeed, it does not matter who thought of the list. Hey, inmate. Now quit prying, inmate. Got that? Yes. Of course, we will continue to offer benefits to you if you can further fulfill our tasks. All that we ask is that you work hard in the duty you are assigned. We shall do the same. I feel like my bond with Carolina and Justine is growing deeper. So that's level 3 for the strength persona. Uh, we get lockdown, which allows it you to leave a persona to learn an attribute resistance. All right. So basically how lockdown works, um, I think they're going to explain it now maybe, I don't know. As promised, I've granted you an ability that will prove greatly beneficial. You may now place a persona into lockdown and train it to learn new skills. While you're lazing or wasting away, your persona is going to grow all on its own. Talk about hospitality. Anyway, time for your next task. According to the list, it's a... Uh, what is it, Justine? The wow. next task is... So if you come here, you'll be able to see the uh, lockdown Farewell. thing. Please bring us the floors with Taro Kaja. Speak to us again once you have attained it. One more thing. The next privilege we provide for you will unlock great power. Therefore, we will need you to fulfill two more tasks before we can hand it over to you. <laughs> that The world's not so easy, is it? First, bring us floors that has Taro Kuja. Now. As always, speak to us once you have obtained it. We will know if the deal is done. Am I clear? Hey. Hey. This presence. I see, as we requested, you have brought us a florist with the skill Tarakaja. Okay, I'm going to explain lockdown quickly since I'm not going to get the opportunity in between. I don't want to forget about it. So lockdown pretty much just allows us to take a persona and put it into a cell where then when we leave and continue our daily tasks like confidant leveling, going to a mentor, that type of thing, our persona will hopefully, I assume, level up and learn new resistances. So maybe you take something that is weak to light, you put it in the cell, you come back whenever like a week later or something and then it will maybe be immune to uh to light or it will possibly be strong to light or something along those lines that's what i'm assuming it is i've not physically done it but that's kind of what i gathered from the mini explanation the game giving me anyway let's finish our second quest as i see i see as requested you have brought us a floor with the skill tower closure <laughs> very well your assignment's done <sighs> the inmate has gone considerably since we first met him True, I guess we gotta at least admit that. Your personas are starting to get pretty damn strong too. Uh. Is fostering personas truly re rehabilitation? What are you saying for that for? Is it merely a thought I had? Will the inmate truly be re rehabilitated if we help cultivate power within him? Keep it together, Justine. This is the job our master ordered us to do. Or are you gonna try and dis disobey your orders? That is not what I meant. Don't worry yourself too much over one measly prisoner. All we got to do is get the most out of his wild card thing and make him work hard at his tasks. The wild card. What is it now? What is the, the more I consider this list, the stranger it seems. He, its writer must have known that the one carrying out these tasks would possess the power of the wild card. Excuse you got to be kidding me. How would somebody know that? I mean, even our master didn't know the inmate had that wild card thing before we met him. I want my reward. Shut up! We said you have to do two tasks before the next one. Hmm. Either way, this will all get resolved. You just hurry up and finish your re rehabilitation already. Just even give him his next task, so he'll be quiet. So he'll quiet. Wait. So he'll quit talking back. Very well. It seems that it's time for us to be serious. Okay, so before we head on to the next one, I'm just going to quickly explain how I made Flores. Now, Flores is a special fusion in the advanced fusions. You need three personas for it. Um, you need Bereth, Andres, and Eligor. Now, Eligor automatically learns Tower Kaja. I'm not sure if you have to level them up or not, but my Eligor was max level when I went to a draw persona, so I already had Tower Kaja on it. So that is a very, very easy quest. You automatically do it just by having the three personas you need. So you do the advanced fusion, you take a Bereth, an Andres, and an Eligor. As long as Eligor has reached the sufficient level, you should have Tower Kaja, and that is the quest done. Pretty easy. I feel like my bond with Caroline and Justine is growing deeper. All right. The strength confident has increased rank four. You will now earn more experience from Arcana Burst when fusing personas of the strength Arcana. Now. As previously mentioned, here is the second task you must complete before receiving your reward. <clears throat> Try to harbor an Ame no Uzume with Dodge Sai within you. You only need to speak with us once you obtain it, we will be able to tell. Huh. Good work! Go work up a sweat, inmate! <coughs> hey. hey! 
It would see, I see you have bought us a uh, Ame no Uzume with Dodge Side. See? Chuckle, not bad. It. That's another one done. So I'm going to quickly explain Ame no Uzume before we continue with this dialogue here because we do unlock a pretty cool reward after this one. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show it until we go through all 10, but we will get there soon enough. So Ame no Uzume um, needs Dodge Side. Now, Dodge Side, I found the only the easiest way to find it was use a Core Inor, which is a rare in the fourth. Area of Mementos, fifth area of Mementos. It's basically the one after, or it's basically Burger King. Burger King Palace is rare, so I think it's Burger King Palace is rare. That uh, Akizui Ruth, something like that, is the area's name in Mementos, or you can go to catch one in Burger King Palace, of course. And then you use a Liana side, which is a lover's type of cannon. And if you fuse those two together, then you just select the dodge side ability from the Koi No selection of skills. And boom, done. Easy, strength 5, persona, finished. So let's see what our reward is. It's a pretty good one. Not bad, that's another one done. You know, I never thought you'd keep at this, even though it's not mandatory. Hey, you're a pretty interesting inmate. I must say, as Caroline, as Caroline noted before, this list is quite well thought out. The tasks are designed to push you toward achieving your goals while also measuring your true strength. Hmm, I guess so. Hey, hey inmate, what are your thoughts on these tasks? They're pretty tough. Such a response is proof that they are of the proper difficulty. Oh well, we should give him the next one. Let's see here. Huh? What? What the? It feels like I've seen this writing on this list before. Do you speak of the penmanship? Yeah, damn it. I can't remember. Do you recognize it, Justine? Compliment him after he finishes the next task. Don't spoil him, though. Do it with, just like you practiced with a uh, piercing glare and angled hips. Wait, wait, not that. Those are my notes. I, uh, no, I mean... It seems you have been rather looking forward to the inmates' visits. Never mind that. I am talking about the handwriting of the toss themselves. Oh, she's so cute. Stop yanking my chain. Hmm, now that you mention it, I do feel as though I've seen that handwriting somewhere before. Can I see? Excuse Keep me? your nose out of other people's business, inmate. Hmm. To be honest, the sense of deja vu I feel when reading this list is certainly concerning to me. Who made this list and why? It was probably Margaret or Elizabeth Watch. What do you mean? The goal is pretty obvious. It's to help train the inmate. Beyond that though, what exactly is the purpose of training him? Rehabilitation. But that is merely our master's order. Someone other than him wrote this list, correct? Mm. <sighs> then let's just assume there is some purpose we don't know about. If we are right in our assumption, the purpose will be clear once he finishes the whole list, right? That is correct. I suppose you have a point. Hearing something logical from you is like a cool rush of air amidst the sweltering heat of summer. Hmm. You didn't need to say that! Now then, let us reward you for successfully completing our task. We will now grant you the access to the guillotine booster. Think of it as a way to increase the number of personas you can make with the group guillotine. Plus now you can do some super strong fusions using 5 or 6 personas. You should be able to figure it out with some effort inmate. I mean, you've come this far, right? We trust you will employ it wisely. I feel like my bond with Caroline and Justine is going deeper. So awesome! Now we have unlocked multiple fusions. So now we can actually fuse up to five, six, I think even seven right. personas at once. So basically like the hexagon um, um, fusion from Persona 4 or the hexagon, and then the Hecaton. And there's a bunch of different ones, I know. Now then, allow me to give you your next assignment. Please note that the next privilege we provide for you will be quite powerful indeed. Therefore, we require that you complete three tasks before you can receive it. Chuckle, alright, here's task number one. Now. Your next assignment is a Nekoshogun with the skill to Kaja. You only need to speak with us. Once you obtain it, we will be able to tell. <laughs> See if you can live up to our expectations. Hey. Hey. I can sense it within you, a Nekoshogun with the Kaja. So, Nekoshogun with the Kaja is also a special fusion. It requires four or three, three personas. It requires three personas to make a Kodama, a Sudama, and an Anzu. And one of them have to have the Kaja. I think Sudama naturally learns the Kaja. Or, 
I fused one of them that had the cushion. I cannot honestly remember, but one of mine luckily had the cushion when I went to do this. So I was extremely happy because my Neko Shogun already had the cushion. So that was like the easiest quest I ever had to do. So I was very, very happy. But, but those are the three you need Kudama, Sudama, Anzios in the special fusion section. You need three personas to do it. And all you need to do is make sure one of the personas you are fusing has the Kaja on, and then you fuse them together, and you will get the Neko Shogun. You just make sure you do select that the Kaja, though. Don't forget, that's what I did, like a retard. I just, like, I was so, like, tired, because it took me, like, six hours to do this, that I was just clicking, and I accidentally misclicked, so I had to do it again. But that wasn't the end of the world, so that's how you do that. Hmm, you're already getting the whole hang of this whole growth thing. Hmm, Justine looks worried, guys. What's wrong, Justine? It's nothing vital, however, presiding over the growth of another feels almost nostalgic in a way. Do you feel the same, Caroline? What do you mean? We've never taken care of someone like this before. You're not wrong about that. And yet, our duty to aid his rehabilitation aside, observing his growth feels oddly familiar. <gasps> Excuse me? Um, Caroline is like the reincarnation form of Elizabeth, and Justine's like the reincarnation form of Margaret. Oh, that'll be so cool. You can't be right, the inmate's growth and this rehabilitation are the same, exact same thing. Hey, in hey inmate, the growth you're getting from these tasks is helping with your rehabilitation, right? Probably. See, Justine, they're the same thing. Is that not something we should judge for ourselves? Though? Anyway, Justine, just don't forget about our job. The duty we've been handed is all that matters. Don't think about anything else. Yes. I suppose you are correct. Sigh. I guess you're gonna keep worrying about this till the inmate finishes rehabilitation, huh, Justine? Look what you've done, inmate. Getting us all wrapped up in your fate. Ugh. Hmm. Could it be? What's up? Nothing. But I believe I'm beginning to look forward to seeing whether the inmate can complete his tasks. You heard her. Don't disappoint us, inmate. I feel like my bond with Caroline and Justine is growing deeper. Level six, let's go. All right. Okay, on to the next task, Justine. Okay, so this next one is hard, guys. I actually spent probably two hours alone on this one. Ah, yes, here is the second task you must perform before you receiving your reward. We would like you to harbor a lachesis with the skill Tet Raja within you. You only need to speak with us once you obtain it. We will be able to tell. Okay. Bring us that chisses, you hear? One that knows Tetraja. Okay, so this one's very hard, guys. I fucking spent like hundreds of thousands of yen, two hours trying. I withdrew a Ganesha, a Norn, a Baphomet, Baphomet, Baphomet. I can't see, I scratched it out because I was very angry when I did this. And after doing this for hours on end, I finally went and withdrawing every single persona in my list that had Tetraja. I found a persona that had Tetraja, Clothu. And after finally fusing Clothu long enough with different types, um, starting at the bottom of the list and making my way up, luckily didn't take too long as the persona that was needed, which is Regent, the first rare you encounter in the game, was a level 10 persona, so I found it pretty quickly. So it was only like 8 withdrawals I had to do before I finally found it. So. To get the chesses with Tetraja, all you need is the Clothu who has learned the ability to Tetraja. If you make a Clothu in a Persona fusion, it should automatically level high enough to learn Tetraja. And then you just withdraw Regent, which is the first rare from the first area. And you fuse those together and you will get a La Chesis with Tetraja. This was probably the hardest one and the longest one I threw, simply because I didn't realize that the two lowest level, easiest, cheapest freaking Personas in the game, almost, made exactly what I needed, which was a bit scary like I honestly didn't expect that caught me off guard it would seem I see you bought us a lachesis with tetraja <laughs> looks like you're getting the hang of this well that's another assignment done huh. all right let's keep moving to the next task before things get all messy like last time no difficult questions Justine just give him his assignment yes understood Huh? What? What's with you? You're not usually this cooperative. I have no intention of abandoning my duty, but I would like to know the truth of the situation. After all, we possess a mysterious list which seems to have foretold the current state of affairs. Who wrote it? Why do I recognize the penmanship? Why does observing growth feel nostalgic? And beyond that, what was the true intent of its creator? Yeah. I thought I said no difficult questions. To be honest though, I have arrived at a hypothesis. 
What? You know the answer? We manage the inmates' powers via several arcana, which symbolize the mystic nature of this world. In truth, the encounter we share with him is represented by the strength arcana. Strength represents great power, a mighty will, and the awakening of the unknown. Sounds about right. Caroline, in our interactions, has the inmate been the only one to have had something awaken within him? Perhaps therein lies the answer. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, damn it, why do I feel so weird? Are oh, you guys finished? Sh Shut it, inmate! Can't you see we're in the middle of something? Hmm. Although, this next task is going to be the eighth one. There aren't too many left on the list. You've come this far, inmate. I hope you see it through. If you do so, the answer will surely become clear. And, um, you're more than just some random schmuck to us now. You're the only one who can find the answer we're looking for. You got that, inmate? I feel like my bonnet counter and Jazine is growing deeper. Level 7. Alright. Listen up, inmate. Okay, next, you've only got to bring us one more persona before you get another reward. Now then, I will give you your next assignment. We would like you to harbor a Hecaton Chirius with the skill Musa Masakunda within you. Okay. You got that a uh, thingy with Musakunda. I'm not going to pronounce okay. that twice. Hey! I see you have brought us a thingy with Musakunda. See? You managed to do all three assignments and you didn't tr once try to give up. Not bad. Okay, so before we get into this, let me ex quickly give an explanation of how to make hmm. Hecaton Chirius with Masakunda, which is a strength level 8 requirement. So... After the Lachesis thing, I happened to have a cloth on me because I loaded after I made it and I wrote down the recipe so that I didn't have to waste too much money. So what you do is you take cloth and you use any persona that has Masukunda to strengthen it. So you go to the fuse, uh, the strengthen section, you click on cloth and you pick any persona that has Masukunda. Well, this is how I did it at least. Um, luckily, I had a persona on me, Thoth. It's like a monkey you get in the pyramid section of the game in uh, Futaba's Palace, a Thoth. Um, was what I was currently busy living up at the time happened to have Masukunda on so I strengthen unfortunately is a load type situation You got to like strengthen load strengthen load strengthen load strengthen load until you get the required skill onto Clothu Once you have that take Clothu and fuse it with a Jataya, which is a weird looking bird It's a tower arcana Jataya Jatayu is the name big scary like vulture looking bird It's a tower arcana. you fuse those two together and you will get a Hectonshu Trius with Masakunda. Also pretty easy. I was very lucky to have a cloth on me because of the Lachesis fusion already, which made that a lot easier. We might be getting close to finding out the hidden goal behind that list. Snicker, you know thanks to you, I'm actually starting to look forward to seeing what happens. <laughs> Your attitude has shifted quite considerably, Caroline. I see now that the harsh mask you wear during the fusion ritual is nothing more than a facade. What? Perhaps in your heart, you have longed for the days the inmate would come to fuse the specified personas. But that's not true. And what about you, Justine? You've been really talkative lately. I suppose you're correct. I I've never heard you laugh before, Justine. We both, we have both clearly changed quite a bit recently. Perhaps my hypothesis is true after all. Yes. We have thought that if we were to complete the list, we would bring the light to light the intent of his creator. We have overseen the inmate all the while considering the changes that have begun to appear within him. However, can it truly be said that the inmate is the only one who has changed? I think we've had this conversation before. I'm pretty sure. The completion of these tasks has also had a great impact on both my consciousness and my memories. No way are you trying to say the list isn't supposed to change the inmate but us instead? I have no proof of that. However, if this list represented the will of our master, why is it falling into our hands and not his? Ooh. This has got to be some kind of joke. You're telling me somebody made it so they could change us? But why? You okay there? Yeah, I'll ask you that. Okay, I'm a nice guy. Caroline. Dot, 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 dot. Uh, what's happening? I can hear a voice in my head. Wait, I recognize this voice. Uh, <laughs> Caroline? What seems to be the matter? You are acting quite up. Wait, no. um, Eagle's got that scary fucking voice, that evil man voice. <clears throat> what seems to be the matter? You are acting quite abnormally. Does something trouble you? 
That's not very accurate, but I guess it's fine. Our apologies, Master. Is the inmate proving to be too horrible a subject for you? No, the fault does not lie with hi with him. If you must reprimand anyone, then let it be us. Caroline. Oh, they're so cute. I see. Very well. Continue onward with his rehabilitation. Our deepest apologies for that brief loss of composure. Now then, as you have completed three tasks, let us bestow upon you the next reward. We shall grant you the permission to use the special isolation cell. You use it just like a normal lockdown cell, but it's a heck of a lot stronger. How is it stronger exactly? Because the persona you pop in there will learn a stronger resistance skill. We expect that you will put its services to good use. So as that explained itself, basically it's the same as lockdown. I'll plonk a persona into the isolation cell. I'll leave and go do my normal daily task and do my normal thing. When I come back later on, I'll get a persona that has an even better thing. So I'm assuming like the first lockdown will give me strong resistance to fire if they're weak to fire or like a chance to dodge it, maybe like two times evasion. But if you put in isolation, you'll get probably immunity or even maybe that triple evade that the, your confidants learn. Your people in your party learn. So I'm assuming it's something like that, but I've yet to even use any of these because I spent all the time just making the personas. I feel my bond with Caroline and Justine is growing deeper. Strength 8, isolation. All right. Do -do 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 -do. Hmm, so I guess we've changed, huh? That much is clear. Strength, the 11th arcano, which nearly evenly splits the majority 22. Hmm. I never read this because I was so tired. The Awakening of the Unknown, a solitary woman calmly coming to face a lion. Caroline, let us assign the inmate his next task before we discuss this matter any further. If this list is meant to change us, that change must surely be important. Fine. Alright inmate, it's time for you to get your new task. Oh, she looks so cute now. Oh, and your next reward is going to be t incredible, so you've got to do two tasks before you can have it. Accordingly, these next two shall be the most difficult you have faced to this point. Actually, the next two were kind of easy. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? This is so easy. On the f like the previous two, the Hecaton Chirius and the Lechasis were way harder for me uh, personally. But I mean, I think each of us will have their own experience depending how you fused your personas and what type of skills you prioritized over other skills when selecting your skills to inherit after doing fusions. Anyway. On to the first assignment before your next reward. Try to harbor bugs with summer red calm within you. <laughs> we'll be waiting for you, though. I know you won't give up just because it's hot. Hey. Hey. Okay, so I'm going to quickly explain how to make bugs. I guess I can do it after this, though. I see you bought us a bugs. Hmm. Hmm, you make it seem easy while the assignment is done. So bugs is pretty much the teddy bear persona. You guys remember the teddy bear persona? I love him. Uh, Makoto's weapon for a while was my was the teddy bear gloves so it was actually the weapon i used on makoto for a long time you get that by of course um electrocuting bugs to death in the electric chair um to make bugs you need the pixie arcana the pisaka arcana which is that weird insect with the mouth vagina thing which you don't want to do with and then a hariti hariti actually learns summer calm at level 41 now i already had a level 41 Hariti that had the abilities. I mean, I don't know if that was just luck or if I had actually leveled up. I cannot remember because it's been a very long time. So when I would do the three personas to make bugs, boom, I already had the ability. So you fuse those three together in the special advanced fusion section and you just make sure you select Summer Calm from Hariti's pool and then boom, bugs with Summer Calm, strength level 9, complete. Thinking back on our encounters here, we have lost our composure in front of you quite a few times. So... Me and Justine had a little talk. I don't know how to put this, but we don't know each other too well, even though we're so close. We have also come to realize that each of us complements the faults of the other quite nicely. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had a deep convo like that with anyone before. Oh, and it made me remember something super important. I bet you want to hear what that was. Isn't that right, Inmate? I'd like that. <laughs> Is she so cute? Oh, I love her so much. Of course you would. The next thing I remember is something someone once told me. You explain it, Justine. Essentially, the 22 arcana represents a journey. The fool embarks on a pilgrimage through the numbers, overcoming death and eventually obtaining the world. In short, this journey is the tale of one's path through life. So we realize something. 
If this wildcard thing, the potential of the fool proves that you're a traveler, then your becoming stronger will lead us all in the right direction. That may be the true meaning of rehabilitation, or perhaps it is something beyond even that. Regardless, one thing we can be sure of is that this list was written with the intent of being completed. Understanding and having faith in that intent is the change this list has brought about in us. Not that somebody like you would be able to comprehend that. But for us, it is something really important to learn. Oh, and I think we might know who that voice in my head was too. I can't tell you right now though. Why not? First of all, we don't have any actual proof. Secondly, it's, if it is indeed true, everything we have come to know in would be thrown into question. Regardless, we have grown able to reflect on ourselves thanks to you. This may not be something I should be saying to you, but I have quite enjoyed our time spent together. You hear that inmate? You have better overcome this ruined stuff. Keep surviving all the way until we learn the truth together. We vow to do everything in our power to assist you for the sake of your future and our own. Ooh, their own. In fact, my bottom Caroline and Justin is growing deeper. Rank 9. All right. Awesome, so this is as far as I've gone because I just made the next persona. I never actually handed it in, so I don't know what they're going to say. So everything from here is going to be just as new and exciting for me as it is for you. So, sorry that I did this all off camera and I already knew what was going to happen and it might take away a little bit of the excitement away, but also I didn't want to make you sit too long while I sit here grinding out persona levels and struggling for hours on end trying to find the right combinations. So um, I hope this was helpful and enlightening and we're about to do our last one, so let's get to it. So there you have it. Don't expect us to play nice though. Because we believe in you, we are going to be as strict as ever. Uh, that's Caroline for you. Now then, it is time to assign you the final task before you receive your immensely powerful reward. Immensely powerful. Ooh, immensely, guys. That sounds good. I want immensely. Now. For that task, please bring us a set with high counters. Speak to us again once you have obtained it. Hey. Hey. My. Ah, is that a set with the high with the skill high counter? Okay, so before we get to the whole story later stuff, as I assume there's going to be lots of new stuff for us to see. Oh, they're even speaking, guys. Holy crap, this is like a big, uh, big turning point. Anyway, I'm just going to quickly do a quick explanation. Seth is also an advanced fusion, which you need the following personas for. Isis, Thoth, Anubis, and Horus. So it's Isis, which is, I think is a priestess. Um, Thoth, which is the emperor monkey. Anubis, which is a judgment type, I'm correct, and a horse, which is a sun type. Now, you need to fuse all of them together, and then Seth, the final dragon form that comes out, must have the high count ability. Now, my Anubis just happened to have it. I don't know why my Anubis just did. But if you don't have it, all you can do is you can take Seth, and any persona that has the high count ability, you can just strengthen Seth, Seth with that persona of the high count ability until you get the high counter skill. So you just Take the persona that has high counter. I'm not sure which ones they are. Unfortunately, I did not write down. I do apologize about that. Um, as I said, my Anubis just happened to have it because I was lucky, I guess. Um, but yeah, so what you can do is you can take any persona that has the high counter ability. And you can just, after you make Seth, take Seth and then strengthen him with that persona. What they will do is will give you a random skill, which hopefully was, is high counter. If it's not high counter, just load. And then keep doing that. Strengthening Seth with the persona that has the high counter skill. And eventually, you will get a high counter on your Seth. And boom, bang. You've completed the last uh, request for the twins. I found the twins quest, the, the the making of certain personas, a lot easier in Persona 5 than it was in Persona 4 or even 3 for that matter. 3 was immensely difficult as you could not select the skills. 4 was pretty hard. Four, Golden was slightly easier, but 5 has so far been the easiest one I've had to do. And I'm glad because that way I didn't have to spend 2 days. I just spent about 6 hours. Anyway, let's see the final part of the Strength Confidant Social Link. You really made it? The inmate with all those pitiful personas actually managed this. <clears throat> I guess I can compliment you this time. Well done. I like how Justine's the one to compliment us though. You have far exceeded our original expectations. This may not be a proper thing to say to an inmate, but you have done extraordinary work. You're a real handful, but I gotta give you some credit. As for the next task we will assign to you, there is nothing. Yes! We've done it, boys. You have fulfilled every duty available to you. Can I say I'm just that good, man? 
As the ones who rule over power, our role is... <gasps> Uh-oh. Rule over power? Why did I say that? I don't know, slip of the tongue? Uh, a voice is echoing in my head. Is it Margaret? Justine? Oh no! Are you okay? It, it is nothing. Just my head. Uh, 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 these memories. The one who first wrote this list. Uh, it was me? Or was it us? Just. Uh, what are we? I like how Ego's just sitting there like a creep, tapping his fingers on the fucking table or weird or fucking weird. Do you remember something? Uh, uh, oh no, Justin! Uh, okay, well, stop with the sexual panting. Holy crap. My apologies. You are the underage little girl. Don't worry. This has happened to me too. Oh no. Inmate, this is all your fault for not keeping your mouth shut. I like how this is my fault. Caroline, do not shift the blame onto him. Are these still got infusion or something? I hope you know you're a real handful, inmate. Oh, well, that's the point. But fine. I'll grant you that privilege. We've really gone soft, huh? Oh, they're so cute! Perhaps... They're so cute! Perhaps you are too embarrassed to admit how much his concern pleased you. No! Oh, she's blushing! Anyway, we're gonna give you a great ability this time. You're gonna cry tears of joy when you get it. Yay. What is it? And, um, inmate, oh. there's no doubt you're a problem child. Oh. But honestly, we're real impressed that you conquered all the trials we put forth. You hold a surprise. She complimented me! Potential. She complimented me, my so, life is meaning. Fight. I'm sure you'll be able to accomplish anything you put your mind to. Hell yeah, I will. And you'd better put a stop to the ruin. Okay? To the ruin? What ruin? Please support me. Leave it to me. Be all confident and shit. Trickster, I believe in you. Prove to us that you can reach the truth. Oh, she's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. We will be waiting for you. She's also the cutest thing. Caroline is fucking um, Elizabeth from Persona 3 and Justine is Margaret from Persona 4. Their personalities match. I feel a strong bond with Caroline and Justine. You mean Margaret and Elizabeth? I am thou. Thou art Not I. I. Thou says thou turn a vow into a blood oath. Into a blood oath. That's kind of creepy, but okay. Thy bond but that's a max strength, boys! We did it! We maxed out another social link. We are the greatest gamer that ever was. We're super amazing. We maxed out another social link. Yeah, yeah. Special treatment allows you to pay to create personas of a high level. Oh, yes! I heard about something like this. It's so good. You can now fuse Zoe Goengen, the most powerful persona of the strength of Kenna. Oh, yes. Let's do it. Be careful not, not to, to lose, lose focus. focus. You're still in rehabilitation till you can get out from behind the bars. Got that, inmate? Hey, man, sister. Ah, she's so cute! They're both so adorable. What happens if I talk to him now, though? Hello? Huh. What is it, inmate? Need to check on your penal labor? Well done. You have completed all the assignments on the list. But please do not stop here. Hmm. You're in rehabilitation till the moment you step through the iron bars. Got that, inmate? Well, how do I step through the iron bars? Caroline? Can't take Caroline. Yo, Ego! What's up? How go Wanna fuse? The inmate oh. change your mind so here we go. Turn, Caroline. Uh, train, and then we claim. So we got train, and then we can so, put a persona be? away. We're not gonna put anything away though, because nothing here needs to get put away. And we can reclaim them, it seems. Create new personas. I just wanna see to how this works. Bob. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, oh, our new personas! Throne, Michael, Trumpeteer, 
Yoshitsune, Shurashu, and Chiyo. Those are all our new personas, guys. Okay, this result. So, like, for instance, we level 63, so if we wanted to make a Siegfried, we could. But how much would it cost us? The persona is too powerful for your current level of strength. However, given your circumstances, I'm willing to expressly facilitate your rehabilitation. I only ask for 66,240 yen! I'll pass. It's fine. But at least we can see all the new cool personas for Nias. Oh, he looks so weird in this persona. He's like a little manta ray with like eyes. It's really creeping me out, man. Holy shit. I didn't even realize we were level 63. Uh, advanced vision. Let's Gather check them. how the Suki looks. Back. Yeah! Oh, we can't see them? You guys don't let me see them? That sucks balls. Oh, I can see trumpets. I wonder why I can see trumpets, but I can't see the other one. That's really weird. Yoshitsune. Shurasha. Chiyo. Awesome. Okay, so we can pay like 70,000 yen. I'm not paying 70,000 yen. Yes. No Go back and enjoy your break. Bye, guys. Thanks for the max social link. I appreciate it. So you have it, guys. That is level 3 to level 10 of the strength arcana and how to do it. All. I'm just going to quickly do a run through all the personas. So we're starting off at Matador, which is here. So you can see Matador with Magaru is the quest there. Flores with Tarakuja is the quest there. Amino Uzumi with Dodge Sai is the quest there. Neku Shogun with Takaja is the quest there. Lachesis with Tetraja is the quest over there. That's a uh, seventh quest. Hecatonchirius with Masakunde is the quest over there. Bugs with Samurai Calm is the quest at level 9. And then last but not least, of course, Seth with High Counter, which is strength level 10. So there you go. Those are all the ones from 3 to 10. I'm going to quickly run through them again. Seth, Bugs, Hecatonchirius, Lachesis, Nekoshogun, Ameno Uzume, Flores, and Matador. Of course, the last two were Shiso, and I honestly can't tell you what the first one was. I think it was Jack Frost, but I can't tell you what ability he learned, unfortunately. So, now we have the evening off ourselves, boys. Let's see what this uh, cool ass dude has to say. Seems that Shiro's dude's gonna be the new Prime Minister. The regulars are here always talking about him. Meow. And the Fantasy's leaders killed himself. People who used to support him were laughing about it. I kind of feel bad for him. Probably overworked himself. <laughs> I'll show you. That's funny. Okay, so let's check if there's any new books to buy. I've actually finished reading all the books. Um, I'm Please pretty sure I showed that in the playthrough, but if I hadn't... Uh, yes, I finished all the books, so that's something that's happened. Let's go to Akihabara and check if there's any books there we can buy. I don't think there's any bookstores in Akihabara, but we can just give it a check out just to be sure. Here's Mishima. We've, oh, everything's closed because it's night time. Okay, we can go to uh, Shinjuki. Check that bookstore out. Ba -bum -bum -bum. Ba -bum -bum -bum. Bookstore. Hey! Bought all the books here. Awesome. So I think we've read all the books in the game. I didn't get a trophy for it, so either I missed the book summary or the um or the book reading is not a trophy like it was in the previous game. So we got another social link to the Swiss Square. It's all about Shiro. What are we gonna do? I don't care. Uh, do we have any social links we can do? Oya's maxed. Kawakami's maxed. She's not available. It actually looks like there is unfortunately no social links available to do, which is kind of shitty. So what I'm actually going to do then is probably raise a stat would be a good idea. Oh, ooh, that's for Tabo. There we go. 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. Um, stat raising. I mean, we have very little time left in this video, so I'm actually going to spend it going fishing. So let's get our butts over there and go to Ichigaya and fish. I'm actually started to I started to really like it, fishing. Welcome, thanks for your continued patronage. It's night time, so it'll cost you one thousand eight to fish. Prize you have. Okay, we have five every bowly. We want the soul vest is what our goal is. That's a hundred thousand points. And of course the shock charm, which is thirty thousand points. So we need a hundred and thirty thousand points in total. That's not too bad. I think uh I think that's 
should be reasonably easy to obtain. I should probably be focusing on stat increasing since I can't do um, the star social link until I have five intelligence. But fuck it, let's go, boys. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with a large body. I always find that a good starting point. We're gonna sit here. Oh no, not one. Not one, uh. Not one big shiny. So let's quit. No, I'm gonna fish. And I'm gonna use a small bowly. And just we'll catch this little goldfish right here. There's a little goldfish. He's right there. Just turn around, goldfishy boy. You can do it. Uh, goldfish is not interested. Let's throw it right in front of him now. We do know he's shining, so we do want to catch him as it's double points. And although the, a big one might be worth more, uh, because it's uh, um, <laughs> probably worth more points than this, on just the one go. I should actually uh, think about that. That is probably a good point. Okay, still no, but we got like a bunch of big boys there, so let's just start there. First one to get a kick can have it. I'm not going to be fussy. I stole one I didn't want, but okay. I guess I was a little bit fussy in the end. Ha ha ha. Oh. Oh. He's a, he's a fighter, but we have a master rod, guys. We have a master rod. If this is Pokemon. We will be catching a freaking uh, legendary water type right now on the beach. 88 centimeter daddish pitling is okay. Let's fish with a medium bully. Uh, any shining mediums? Doesn't look like it. What's that? A shining small. Uh, okay. Let's go for this guy right there. Oh, there you go. Yo, dude, what's up? Come, come, come. You know you want it. Yes. He's not shining or anything, but that's fine. So, of course, what we're doing is we are looking for the Ichigai Guardian. I don't know if there's a bigger fish you can catch uh, other than the Ichigai Guardian. I just, I doubt it though. No, unfortunately, no shining big ones, but we will definitely try and catch this big boy over here. Oh, he's a big, oh, he's a big boy. Oh, look at him, guys. He's, he's a, he's a fat fishy. That one's going to keep you fed for days. You're going to be eating on that fish for days to come. So, we're going to quickly catch him. Boom. 90 oh, it wasn't actually that big. Only 90 centimeters. This fish. Uh, let's use another big boy. It's your guy got in. No, not yet. So we want to catch a big boy. So we do want to make sure we don't waste the bait. Because these small fishies, what they do is the small fishies, they try and eat your freaking big boy bait. Yes. And I'm like, yo, dude, that's not cool. Don't eat my big boy bait. That's for the big fishies. You know this for the big fishies again. And the game's like, I don't care. I'm a little fishy. I'm a tiny goldfish, but I'm gonna eat your big boy bait. 90 cent of PLS copper, that's okay. And now I think he's a top class body because the Ichigai got it should have appeared. He didn't. Okay, so we just want a normal body then. Fish with a large body. I'm gonna throw it about there. I specifically want that guy. So unless if unless that guy goes for it. Yes, he does. There we go. Yes, we got the one I wanted. Oh, but he's oh he's a very big boy. He's this guy and he he ate his porridge every morning. He never skipped Mealy Pup Day, not once in his life. He knows what's up. He knows it. I know. Oh, he's a fighter. T uh, yeah. Oh, I'm I'm gonna get you, dude. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Uh, uh. Oh, got him. 90 centimeter Peter's got one more fish. Fish. I think this is it. Your guy got in territory. You got it. Can't tell if that's it. guy got it. Was that a normal fish, guys? That it. guy got it. Normal fish. I can't tell. Let's catch it anyway. I think it is the Ichigai got in. Yes, it is. It's the Ichigai got in. He knows it. I know it. He's going to get caught. One way or another, he's all golden. No one else is gold except for him, so let's catch him. Oh, but he's a strong little Ichigai got in. But he's caught. 120 centimeter Ichigai Guardian. Oh, it's just too easy. It's just too easy. More proficiency because this game loves proficiency. Like they love it so much. Okay, that was a waste. That's 5,000 points. So it's 9,200 points. That's not too bad. It's not great though. It really isn't that good. Um, I feel like on on average I usually get a little bit more. Than that. I'm, gonna buy what? I'm not going to buy any more top class bodies. I'm sorry. I'm just going to buy four big ones and then one medium one. And that's going to be it. And then shock is 30,000. And soul vest 100,000. I want that soul vest, boys. I want that soul vest. So next episode, we are going to be heading to Shido's, pa Shido's Palace, the um, boat. Hi. And we are going to be hopefully completing that to the max. Thank you for waiting. Here you go. Luxurious vest, unyielding vest, and Subo Fury wrap. That sounds pretty cool. All right. I'll see you later.
Thanks, Becky. Man, Becky is so crucial to your success of Persona 5 game. Like, without Becky, it's, it's, oof, it's difficult, boys. It's actually, actually just difficult. Saturday, the 26th. 26. 26. Koto, have you been keeping up with the election? I wonder if shiro is going to take it all. We might be hearing news about the birth of the Shiro administration by the end of the year. I wish Ikechikun would run for office. He'll get more votes than all those incompetent politicians. I don't usually care about elections, but it's exciting when people are so into it. <laughs> Everyone's in danger. We need to make him have a change of heart soon. Okay. Do you think the game's trying to tell me something? I think it might be. It's like, listen up. Dude, let me use the morning to do random stuff like uh, make coffee or stuff. Okay, so what I'm going to just immediately just say, dead. that's always a good idea. Oops, and that is going to be the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed all the strength component levels that we uh, amassed in this episode. I think it was a pretty successful episode, none to say the least. I mean, we literally took a level 2 social link and max it. Where is it? Oh, boys, look at that. Max social link. Justine and Karen. Oh, they're so cute together. They're actually so cute. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to hit that like button. It helps out a bunch. Just click it. Just click. See, click it. There, easy. Done. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for clicking it. And if you have not already, subscribe to my channel for more awesome Persona 5 in the future, as well as other cool RPGs coming soon. I'll see you all in the next episode.